Well, this makes it clear, doesn't it? The entire inheritance goes to your brother. The will is genuine. Stop your doubting. Marvin's eyes gleamed with contempt. Jessica smirked. What? We get all this money? Could it really be that easy? I stared at them in disbelief, my heart sinking. My father's fortune, the legacy he had built over decades, was being handed over to my conniving brother and his manipulative wife. It felt like a cruel joke. Aaron had always been the golden child, despite his frequent overseas trips that kept him away from our family for years. And Jessica? She was a master at charming everyone, her sweet facade masking her true intentions. But— Why would Dad leave everything to Aaron? I asked, my voice trembling. We were just as close— this doesn't make any sense. Marvin scoffed, his thin lips curling into a sneer. Don't question the will, Vivian. Your father made his decision. Accept it. Anger flared inside me as I looked at my husband's smug expression. For years, I had endured his belittling comments and controlling behavior, finding solace in the hope that one day I would be free from his oppressive grip. Now that dream seemed to slip through my fingers. Jessica placed a hand on my arm, her fake sympathy making me want to recoil. I'm sorry, Viv, but the will is clear. Aaron gets everything. I clenched my fists, refusing to let them see the tears that threatened to spill. There had to be an explanation, some hidden truth behind this apparent betrayal. As they continued to gloat, I made a silent vow. I would uncover the real reason for this injustice, no matter what it took. My father's legacy deserved better than to be handed over to these vultures. The door slammed behind me as I stormed into the house, my hands still shaking from the disastrous meeting. Marvin's footsteps followed close behind, his presence suffocating the air around me. Well, that went smoothly, he sneered, grabbing my arm and spinning me around to face him. Your brother gets everything, and there's nothing you can do about it. I wrenched my arm free, glaring at him defiantly. This isn't over, Marvin. There's something not right about that will. His eyes narrowed, and he took a step closer, towering over me. Listen here, you ungrateful woman. Your father made his choice, and you'll accept it, or else. The unspoken threat hung in the air, and I swallowed hard, knowing all too well the consequences of defying him. For years, I had endured his oppressive behavior, walking on eggshells to avoid his wrath. Or else what? I challenged, my voice trembling slightly. You'll hit me again? Lock me in the basement like some prisoner? Marvin's face twisted into an ugly sneer. Don't test me, Vivian, cause you know I have ways of keeping you in line. Memories of his past cruelties flashed through my mind, and I fought back the urge to crumble. This time it was different. This time, I had a reason to fight back. Not this time, Marvin, I said, mustering all the courage I could find. This inheritance is my last chance at freedom— and I won't let you or anyone else take that away from me. His laughter echoed through the room, mocking and cruel. Freedom? You think a little money will buy you that? You're deluding yourself, Vivian. You're mine, and nothing will ever change that. As he turned and stalked away, I felt a familiar sense of helplessness wash over me. But beneath it, a newfound determination burned bright. I would find a way to unravel the truth behind my father's will, no matter what it took, and if Marvin or my brother tried to stand in my way, they would face the full force of my wrath. The lawyer's office was suffocating, the stale air weighing heavily on my shoulders. I clutched the report in my trembling hands, the words blurring together as my heart sank. "'I'm sorry, Mrs. Miller,' the lawyer said, his tone devoid of empathy. "'But the report confirms it. The will is legitimate.' I looked up at him, desperation clawing at my insides. But there has to be some mistake. My father wouldn't just leave everything to Aaron like that. He shrugged, already shuffling papers and preparing to move on to his next case. The document is ironclad. Your brother inherits the entire estate. My vision blurred with unshed tears as I stumbled out of the office, clutching the damning report. This was it. My last hope of escaping Marvin's oppressive clutches had just slipped through my fingers. As I stepped out onto the busy street, my phone buzzed in my pocket. I glanced at the caller ID and felt a pang of bitter resentment. Aaron, what do you want? I snapped, answering the call. Vivian, I heard about the report. His voice was tinged with concern. I'm so sorry, but we'll figure this out, I promise. I scoffed, anger bubbling up inside me. Figure it out. How, Aaron? The will is legal. You and your manipulative wife have won. 
There was a pause on the other end of the line, and I could almost picture the pained expression on his face. Jessica had nothing to do with this, Viv. You know Dad always favored me. Favored you? I spat out a humorless laugh. Is that what you call cutting me out of my own inheritance? Vivian, please, he pleaded. Let's talk about this calmly. There has to be an explanation. But I had heard enough. I ended the call abruptly, my hands shaking with a mixture of rage and despair. As I made my way back home, a pit of dread formed in my stomach. Marvin would be waiting, ready to twist the knife further with his cruel taunts. And for the first time, I had no escape plan, no hope of breaking free from his iron grip. The inheritance had been my last chance, and now it was gone, snatched away by the very people who were supposed to be my family. As I approached the front door, stealing myself for the onslaught of Marvin's triumphant sneers, a small ember of defiance flickered to life within me. This wasn't over, not by a long shot. Aaron might have the money, but I had something far more powerful. The truth. And I would stop at nothing to uncover it, even if it meant burning every bridge along the way. I paced back and forth in the living room, the phone clutched tightly in my hand. After days of silence, Aaron had finally reached out, and I wasn't sure if I was ready to face him. But the burning desire for answers won out, and I hit the call button before I could change my mind. Viv, thank God you answered. Aaron's voice crackled through the line, laced with relief. I was starting to worry. Save it, Aaron, I snapped, my earlier anger resurfacing. You've got what you wanted, the entire inheritance. Why bother checking in on your poor, disinherited sister? There was a heavy pause, and I could almost picture him pinching the bridge of his nose in frustration. Vivian, you know that's not fair. I had no idea Dad was going to leave everything to me. Right, because you and Jessica had absolutely nothing to do with it, I scoffed, sarcasm dripping from my words. Jessica is innocent in all this, he insisted, his tone hardening. But if you're so convinced she had a hand in it, why don't you look into her activities? Hire a private investigator or something. I faltered, taken aback by his suggestion. Was he baiting me, or did he genuinely believe Jessica was clean? You'd be okay with that, I asked cautiously. Of course, he replied without hesitation. I have nothing to hide, Viv. If it'll help convince you, then by all means investigate. But I'm warning you, you won't find anything incriminating on Jessica. His confidence only fueled my suspicions further. But before I could respond, he continued. Listen. Vivian, this whole situation is a mess, but we're family. We should be working together to figure out what really happened, not tearing each other apart. I fell silent, mulling over his words. As much as I wanted to believe him, the sting of betrayal still burned fresh in my mind. Fine, I said finally. I'll look into Jessica's activities, but if I find even a shred of evidence that she was involved in this, you can bet I'll make both of you pay. Fair enough he conceded. Just keep an open mind, okay? I know you've been through a lot with Marvin, but not everyone is out to get you. I clenched my jaw, fighting back the urge to lash out. Aaron had no idea the depths of Marvin's cruelty, the hell I'd been living in for years. But for now, I had to focus on the task at hand, uncovering the truth about Jessica, no matter where it led. We'll see, I said curtly, before ending the call. As I dialed the number for a local private investigator, a sense of determination washed over me. If Jessica was innocent, then so be it. But if she had played a role in this betrayal, I would make sure she paid the price, even if it meant burning every bridge along the way. The private investigator's office was cramped and musty, but the weight of the evidence he had uncovered made the air feel suffocating. I clutched the manila envelope tightly, my hands trembling as I tried to process the bombshell he had just dropped. Are you sure about this? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. There's no mistake? The investigator shook his head solemnly. I'm afraid not, Mrs. Miller. The proof is all right there. Phone records, hotel receipts, even surveillance footage. Your husband and your sister-in-law have been carrying on an affair for months. A wave of nausea washed over me as the implications sank in. Marvin's cruelty and Jessica's manipulation suddenly made sickening sense. They had been playing me for a fool all along, plotting and scheming behind my back. That lying, cheating bastard, I spat, anger coursing through my veins. And Jessica, she was in on it the whole time. The investigator nodded grimly. 
It appears they were working together to secure the inheritance for themselves. With your father out of the picture, they stood to gain everything. My hands trembled as I leafed through the damning evidence. Grainy photos of Marvin and Jessica embracing, detailed call logs listing countless late-night conversations. The betrayal cut deep, leaving me feeling gutted and hollow. But beneath the pain, a familiar fire began to burn. Rage, white, hot, and all-consuming, ignited within me. They had taken everything from me, my family, my dignity, my future, and now they would pay the price. Thank you for your work, I said, my voice steady and resolute. You've given me exactly what I need. The investigator regarded me with a mix of sympathy and respect. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Mrs. Miller, but now you have the truth, and that's a powerful weapon. I nodded, tucking the envelope under my arm. Don't worry, I know exactly how to wield it. As I exited the dingy office and stepped out into the bright afternoon sun, a plan began to take shape in my mind. Aaron would be the first to know the depths of his wife's deceit. And then, together, we would confront Marvin and Jessica, laying bare their twisted schemes for all to see. They thought they could break me, crush my spirit, and steal my inheritance. But they had gravely underestimated the fury of a woman scorned. Retribution was coming, and it would be swift and merciless. A savage grin spread across my face as I dialed Aaron's number. The time for meek submission was over. From this moment on, I would be the one calling the shots, and those who had wronged me would face the full force of my wrath. The atmosphere in the old, musty living room was thick with tension as we gathered to divide my father's estate. Aaron and Jessica sat across from me, their expressions smug and self-assured, while Marvin hovered nearby like a vulture circling its prey. "'Well, shall we get started?' Jessica spoke up, her saccharine voice grating on my nerves. "'We all know why we're here.' I fought back the urge to lash out, my fingers tightening around the manila envelope tucked under the table. Not yet. I had to bide my time, let them dig their own graves. "'Of course,' Aaron chimed in, oblivious to the storm brewing beneath my calm exterior. "'The lawyers have everything in order. All we need to do is sign the documents, and the transfer of assets will be complete.' Marvin smirked, his eyes gleaming with greed. "'And then the money will be all ours,' he added, leering at Jessica. I felt a rush of bile rise in my throat at their brazen display but I forced it back down. They would get their comeuppance soon enough. As the lawyers droned on, outlining the details of the inheritance, I tuned them out, focusing instead on the damning evidence in my possession. The photos, the records, the proof of their sordid affair. It was all there, a smoking gun waiting to be fired. Finally, the lawyers pushed the documents across the table, gesturing for us to sign. Aaron reached for the pen, his hand hovering over the dotted line. Wait, I spoke up, my voice cutting through the silence like a knife. All eyes turned toward me, a mix of confusion and annoyance etched on their faces. Before we make this official, I continued, my heart pounding in my chest, there's something you all need to see. With a flourish, I slid the envelope across the table, letting its contents spill out in a damning array of evidence. You lying, cheating snakes, I spat, glaring at Marvin and Jessica. Did you really think you could betray me like this and get away with it? The color drained from Jessica's face as she took in the incriminating photos and records, her hands trembling. Marvin, on the other hand, flushed crimson with rage, rounding on me with bald fists. But before he could utter a word, Aaron's voice sliced through the tension. Is this true? he asked, his voice laced with disbelief and hurt. Jessica, have you been unfaithful? The silence that followed was deafening, a void of betrayal and shattered trust. And in that moment, I knew I had won. Their web of lies and deceit had finally been exposed, and the consequences would be severe. As the shouting began, accusations and denials flying back and forth, I sat back and let the chaos unfold. Justice, it seemed, would be served, and it tasted sweeter than I could have ever imagined. The shouting and accusations continued to echo through the musty living room, but I remained calm, a sense of twisted satisfaction washing over me as I watched the chaos unfold. "'How could you, Jessica?' Aaron demanded, his voice thick with hurt and betrayal. "'All these years you've been lying to me, sneaking around behind my back with—with with him?' He spat the last word, shooting a venomous glare at Marvin. Jessica, for once, was at a loss for words. 
her usually composed facade crumbling as she floundered for an excuse. Aaron, baby, you have to understand. Understand what? He roared, cutting her off. That you've been making a fool of me? That you never loved me at all? Marvin, true to form, remained defiant, his arrogance shining through even in the face of such damning evidence. Don't act so high and mighty, he sneered at Aaron. You think your precious wife is the only one who's been deceiving you? A hush fell over the room as all eyes turned to me, realization dawning on their faces. Vivian, Aaron breathed, his expression a mix of shock and confusion. What is he talking about? Taking a deep breath, I reached into my bag and pulled out a stack of documents, the original will that my father had drafted years ago, leaving his entire estate to me. You remember this, don't you, Aaron? I asked, my voice steady and unwavering, the will that Marvin and Jessica conspired to replace with a forged one, cutting me out entirely. Aaron's jaw went slack as he scanned the pages, the truth hitting him like a ton of bricks. But how? How did they— It doesn't matter how, I cut him off, my gaze hardening. What matters is that they did it. They betrayed us both, Aaron, you with their affair, and me with their scheme to steal my inheritance. Marvin's face contorted with rage, but before he could interject, I pressed on. And that's not all, I added, turning to Jessica with a cold smile. I have recordings. Hours of conversations between you and Marvin, detailing every sordid step of your little plan. Phone calls, meetings, even you visiting his hotel room late at night. Jessica let out a strangled gasp, her carefully cultivated mask of innocence shattering completely. So you see, I concluded, gathering the documents and photos, you've both been caught red-handed, and now it's time to face the consequences. As I reached into my bag once more, retrieving the divorce papers I had prepared, the look of triumph on Marvin's face melted into one of sheer terror. He knew, as well as I did, that the game was up, and I had won. With a flourish, I slid the papers across the table, my gaze unwavering. Sign them, I commanded, my voice ringing with finality. Both of you, because after today, your lies, your deceit, your betrayal, it all ends. In that moment, the scales of power had finally shifted, and the tyrants who had oppressed me for so long were reduced to mere puppets, dancing to my tune. Revenge, it seemed, was a dish best served cold, and I intended to savor every last bite. The crisp autumn air filled my lungs as I stepped out onto the porch of my new home, the house my father had left me in his original will. It was a modest place, but it was mine, a sanctuary away from the oppression and betrayal that had plagued my life for far too long. As I surveyed the neighborhood, taking in the rows of well-kept homes and the laughter of children playing in the streets, a sense of peace washed over me. This was my fresh start, my chance to finally live on my own terms. The divorce from Marvin had been finalized, and, with the evidence of his affair and Jessica's scheming, there was no room for negotiation. I had taken what was rightfully mine, the inheritance, the house, and my freedom. Aaron had been a rock through it all, supporting me every step of the way as we navigated the legal battles and the fallout from our spouse's deceit. Our bond, once strained by mistrust and betrayal, had only grown stronger in the face of adversity. As for Jessica and Marvin, they had slunk away into obscurity, their tails tucked between their legs. The exposure of their misdeeds had left them disgraced and penniless, a fitting punishment for the pain they had inflicted. A sly grin tugged at my lips as I thought back to the last time I had seen them, their faces contorted with impotent rage as they were forced to sign away their ill-gotten gains. Revenge, it seemed, was a dish best served cold, and I had relished every last bite. But that was all in the past now. A new chapter was unfolding, one filled with promise and possibility— "'Hey, sis!' Aaron's voice called out from the driveway, jolting me from my reverie. "'Need a hand with those boxes?' I turned to see him waving, a warm smile on his face. Behind him, a moving truck sat idling, ready to unload the last of my belongings into my new home. "'Sure thing,' I replied, waving him over. "'And after we're done, how about we grab a bite to eat? I heard there's a great diner just down the street.' Aaron's grin widened. "'Sounds like a plan.' It's about time we celebrated your fresh start. As we worked together, lugging boxes and rearranging furniture, a sense of contentment washed over me. This was what true freedom felt like. The ability to make my own choices, to forge my own path, 
without the weight of oppression holding me back. And as the sun began to set, bathing the neighborhood in a warm golden glow, I knew that this was just the beginning. With my newfound independence and the unwavering support of my brother, the possibilities were endless. For the first time in my life, I was truly in control of my own destiny, and nothing, not even the ghosts of betrayals past, could take that away from me.